Alright, um, this is, uh, the, uh, fifth video in my tutorial series at this point, I guess, on, um, my puppy base. Uh, this is going to be covering the VRM, uh, VTuber, uh, files that come included, uh, with the package. Um, <clears throat> for this, we are going to want to pull the, uh, UniVRM, uh, SDK off of their GitHub. Um, uh, so we want to download that and um, import that into our Unity project. And um, it's fine uh, to use the Unity project that uh, we have made for the PC build. Um, they use the same Unity version 2019.4.31. Uh, so that should be perfectly fine. Um, so I'm going to pull that up here. I've already uh, imported uh, the UniVRM uh, SDK here, as you can see. <clears throat> and I have also imported um, the puppy base VRM files. So that is what is up and open here. Um, and I have clicked into the scene here. Uh, the VRM scene, and this is um, what you are going to see in that scene. I've included some instructions, but um, I realized that maybe it might be a little bit difficult to follow for some people. So um, I have uh, decided to make this video just to go over it a little bit more. Um, I have uh, through much trial and error, I have um, successfully made it so that the this avatar is more or less modular in VRM as well. So what is going to happen is that uh, we have this pre-VRM which I've hidden. Um, you don't have to touch this at all. Um, I would um, encourage you not to touch it actually, just keep it hidden in the scene. Um, it has this blend shape proxy script which basically saves all the blend shapes that I have made. Um, so if you ended up deleting the VRM, it would save the villain shapes so you don't have to remake them, hopefully. <laughs> we never know with Unity. But, um, the second avatar here is what we are going to be editing on. Actually, it would be better if we control D, duplicate it, hide the original. We're going to rename this. You can rename this whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to be doing tutorial here. Uh, we're going to drag this and create a new prefab here, just so that we're not working off of um, the original uh, VRM prefab. Uh, just in case you mess up or uh, want to create a second one or something like that, uh, you don't have to like uh, re-import the package or whatever. So um, it's always a good idea to just uh, duplicate uh, that VRM file uh, prefab, I mean. So uh, what we can do here is, um, as you can see, all of the ears and all the tails are attached. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to right click on this guy and um, open the prefab asset. And that's going to take you into the prefab. So from here, we can edit the prefab. So um, I think I have decided that I want to make this, um, I want to make this the beagle. I, I don't want to, I, I put the Aussie materials on just so I could see what I was doing. Uh, but, um, we can edit this however we want. Um, I'm assuming you're going to be, um, making this into your own character, which is fine and fantastic. Um, I do not have, uh, uh materials that aren't presets at this moment. So I'm just going to use the beagle. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the armature and delete what I don't want. And um, so don't don't want the small ears or the floppy ears or the large ears or the hair. Actually, I want the hair top. Control Z that. Uh, I'm going to delete that. So you're literally just deleting all of the, uh, the prefabs that you don't want. And for the tails, um, thin tail, delete. Thin short is the one that we want, so I'll delete all the others. Long tail, curly tail. All right, cool. So we got our little beagle shapes here. And that's all we have to do in the prefab here. Um, 
And as you can see down here, um, the prefab that we made, the little icon has changed, but the prefab that um, I made and that came with the, the the Unity package is untouched. And that's what we want, and just in case we, we mess something up um, or we want to make another VRM file or something along those lines. Um, but anyways, at this point, we can apply our materials that we want. Uh, so there's a folder here called Puppy Files. Um, and then these are the preset materials. I'm just going to go in and apply the beagle materials to this avatar. Something worth noting is that I have converted all of the materials from the Poyomi Toon Shader to um, the VRM specific materials because VRM only accepts um, their own VRM materials. Um, the good thing is that uh, the VRM materials, um, there comes with a tune shader that it looks very similar to the Poyomi shaders. So I have gone ahead and um, converted all of the materials already um, to the VRM tune shader. So you don't have to worry about that. If we take a look inside the body, I should have um, applied applied the materials to all of the other like the hidden objects in the head so the expressions the tears etc that should all be good um so we have let's see we have deleted um the prefabs and the parts that we didn't want and we've also applied our materials our custom materials to our um doggy um so the third thing that um you need to know is that uh, the blend shapes will not work in Unity. So um, if you've uploaded the avatar to VRChat, you've probably messed with the customization blend shapes um, in Unity um, before uploading to VRChat. Um, that's not going to work for VRM. Um, this is a, a VRM file, uh, all intents and purposes. So um, it just doesn't work. What I've done is I've uh, converted all of those blend shapes into expressions in VC face. So all of that is actually toggleable in VC face. So I wouldn't worry about um, the blend shapes um, right here. And this is what I'm talking about, these blend shapes here. Uh, I wouldn't worry about these. Uh, as you can see, they... They... They don't, okay, so the, the, it looks like it works, but um, what happens is that you'll export it into VC phase and it just won't show up. Um, so I wouldn't worry about the, these because I've made them all expressions into VC phase, basically. So don't touch these. Um, you can edit them in VC phase and I'll show you in uh, once we get to that, uh, that bridge. Um, okay, so the last thing uh, we need to do is handle the physics, the spring bones. Um, since I have no way of knowing like which ears and tails and whatever uh, everybody's going to choose, um, I opted to um, not do any of the spring bones. Um, it's very easy. Um, I have handled the colliders for you. So all you need to do is hook up um, the bones for the spring bones. So um, we're going to go into the secondary uh, game object here and this is where we're going to handle all of our physics. And um, so we're going to go down here to the size of the root bones and we're going to um, we're going to see like how many things we need we want to wiggle. Uh, tail, both ears, hair, nose and the tongue so that's one two three four five six all right so we're gonna put six here and we're gonna um much like the dynamic bones if you're familiar with that we're just gonna navigate through the armature here and um grab all those bones um so we're going to take the tongue and we will take the snout and the tongue and the snout is actually the only bones that we're going to take the very first bone and plug it in to here. Um, I'm going to, for all these others, I'm going to actually move down a little bit further in the bone chain. So for the hair tuft, I'm actually going to grab um, this second bone here. 
Um, and uh, similarly for the beagle ears, I'm going to grab the second bones in the chain. Um, and as well as for the tail. I'm gonna grab the second bone here for the tail. And the reason why I do that is because um, it just uh, weights um, that point of contact better to the head. So this area won't move, um, which I feel um, weights it a little bit better. Um, yeah, that, that is just uh, something that I would highly uh, encourage you to also do, at least on my, on my avatars. That, that is just the way that I, I rigged and weight painted them. So uh, we can go into play mode here, and we can test out our wiggle physics here. Aw, isn't that cute? Yeah. Um, honestly, I really don't uh, touch any of the, the spring joint... Um, I don't touch any of the spring joint uh, like options. I feel like the default... Um, the default settings are pretty good. Like, I, I, I very rarely touch these. Uh, but you can mess around with these if you wanted to. Um, that's really all of the setup, um, that, that's, that's it. If you had, like, um, any of the accessories from my, um, accessory pack, uh, you're free to add those onto, um, the avatar as well, um, just like how you would add, um, the ears or the tail, um, if you were setting up the avatar for, uh, VRChat, which is, um, just parenting it into the armature. Um, but yeah, uh, at this point we're gonna go into the VRM and export, uh, the VRM. Uh, it's gonna give you a bunch of these errors. Honestly, I don't, it doesn't really do anything, so you can just hit reset and ignore all of this. Um, that's just because I, um, animated all of the ears, all the ear positions, so when it sees that you don't have, uh, the ears, it's just gonna throw an error, but it doesn't, uh, like... It doesn't do anything. It's not gonna hurt you or anything, so just ignore it. And we're gonna do... I'm gonna change the name here. Beagle. Just do Beagle test. And uh, you can replace the image if you like. And just hit export. Uh, save it. Oh, I'll just save it to here. Beagle test. It's going to take a second to work. Alright, um, alright, we're going to get a VC, VC face open. That's me. Let's, uh, avatar selection. Let's add the avatar that we just made. Here it is. And here we are. Very cute. Uh, let me plug in my leaf motion. Okay. Hello? Oh, there we go. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, as I said, um, the expressions definitely, uh, set these hotkeys to something. Um, some of them are the uh, um, the customization blend shape. So big stompers, that's a customization blend shape, body chunky customization blend shape. Uh, what I would suggest doing is setting it to a, a hotkey, pressing the hotkey and then deleting the hotkey so that you don't accidentally press it and then disable your like eyelashes or something. Um, but yeah, uh, you have all of the expressions, all of the mouth movements, um, all of the customization blend shapes here. Um, yeah, uh, we are... I hope you have fun streaming. Oh. And... Uh, <laughs> I forgot what hockey that... Um, expression is on but yeah I would uh make sure that you have you set your hotkeys properly and not do what I do and just um add, put them all to additive 
Um, but yeah, that is it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, have fun streaming and I will see you in the next one. We still got to talk about the quest, the quest version. So there's that to talk about and I'll see you.